everyone, how's it going and welcome to the channel. I hope it is going amazing with all of you today and I hope all of you guys are having a great weekend as well. Right now I have a pretty action-packed video for all of you. A lot of new news has come out in the last day or so and we're going to cover all of that in this video. So it's definitely worth watching the full video. So guys, without the way, here we go. Let's start off with when is the update coming out on the global version of the game. It is coming out on the 19th of January at 4 p.m. PT time zone, so now you know. Now let's discuss some new content for Season 1. We have a new themed multiplayer mode known as Red Envelope confirmed coming in Season 1, launching at the end of the month. Battle it out in the 10v10 kill confirmed themed for Lunar Year of the Tiger. Collect red envelopes in place of dog tags and watch the fireworks in celebration of the new beginning. Collect enough envelopes to earn additional rewards like credits and cosmetics. Now we have new events. We have Winter Wish and the Lunar New Year Puzzle. Firstly, the Winter Wish event. Choose your favorite rewards from a pool of items. Then, complete missions to acquire tokens to spend on unlocking those items. Get up to one epic, three rare, and three uncommon items, okay. Then we have the Lunar New Year puzzle. Earn tokens for completing different tasks, slowly revealing the puzzle over time and earning rewards in the process. Now we have brand new seasonal challenges. Firstly, the main takeaways from this is the brand new Survival Instincts Battle Royale Challenge unlocking Scout 2 Escape Plan. Then at the end of the month, we do have Locked and Loaded, where we can unlock the brand new Assault Rifle, being the Kilo 141. Now we have new points of interest in Battle Royale. Experience new Battle Royale content across both Isolated and Blackout. Each map will have feature Lunar New Year cosmetics and decorations, as well as some specific changes to each. In Isolated, show off your snowboarding chops in a new mini game set in the updated ski zone. Sounds interesting. In Blackout, snow has fallen near Hydro Dam and a new aerial platform has arrived. So the aerial platform is also now gonna be in Blackout's cool to see. Shoot down hot air balloons and witness other winter spectacles like a giant holographic urban tracker. Okay, that's pretty interesting, uh, but weird as well. Over here's an image kind of showing how that holographic is gonna look. What do you guys think about that? Let me know. Now we have some bugs which are currently under investigation. So we have controller issues, Tengu Undead Crusade, High Priest of Chaos, Velikan and Domino. Those soldiers all have issues with their voiceovers. Now we have Ether Crystal Camo Unlocks, Profanity Filter Blocking Loadouts, Wrench Exploit and Clan Renaming. You guys can pause that to read through all of those different details. Now over here we have bugs that have been fixed. This includes Gaz Broadsword, fix an issue with missing voiceover, Hovik Sawmill, fix a map exploit, general connection issues, and sniper aim assist changes. So okay, those are bugs that have been fixed. Now we have some news regarding voiceover adjustments. In the public test builds, we saw a few discussions focused around voiceover options being removed. As you all know, in these passionate communities, we always make adjustments to remove unused content to help reduce the size of the game. With these adjustments, we thought we were doing just that with voiceover options that very few people actually utilized. However, we're rediscussing that now and may hold on making these changes. So as you guys can see, this change might actually not end up happening. I also want to show you guys this. Over here, they say the following. We have significant plans to bring more unique seasons, content, competitive events, crossovers, and more throughout 2022. The main takeaway over here for me is definitely crossovers. Carbable has plans for more collabs and crossovers in 2022, and I cannot wait to see what they are going to be. Now we are in the comments, and Alcatraz is back next season in season one for two whole weeks straight. That is awesome to see. If you're a fan of Alcatraz, well, we are having two weeks of it in season one, which is awesome to see. Now for our last comment regarding if bundles are coming for the For You section, and well, no, it is not gonna be happening. It was mentioned a while ago, but that was just a mistake. Bundles are sadly not coming to the For You section. Now this is our final story for the day. Garena has announced a collaboration happening with Girls Frontline. Now at the moment, this collaboration is confirmed for all the different versions of Garena. However, we do not know if this is coming to global, to the Korean version, and to the VNG version. 
We saw this collab on the Chinese version quite a while ago, and now it's confirmed to be happening on Garena. We are gonna have to wait and see if it also happens on the other versions as well. So please do keep that in mind. So there you guys go. That is all the new news regarding Car Mobile and season one. I hope all of you did enjoy the video and found it helpful as well. If you did, make sure to smack that like button and share this video with all of your friends, as well as also make sure to smack that sub button if you have not done so already and check out my other socials Link down below in the description. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be all from me. Have a great day. Catch you in the next one. And squally out. Cheers.